walk this earth like a god. You scared? What? 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 You scared? What? 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 You scared? What? what Kicking what, in what? the door, I make the bitches hit the floor for keys. Trap Scotty here, and I'm back with some more boxing. Second post fight review to the Canelo Alvarez versus Liam Smith fight. Canelo beat the shit out of Liam Smith. You know what I'm saying? Coming over here from the UK, thinking that you doing some shit. You know what I'm saying? You was running your mouth, talking all that shit. If I win a fight, give me the decision. You know, I don't want to see no CJ Ross situation. And then they saying, if you don't make weight, we're going to cancel the fight. Maybe y'all was just scared. Maybe. You know what I'm saying? That's the way y'all was acting. Keep it real. Now, I was trying not to say nothing, but I was seeing all those fucked up looking ass articles that they was coming out with. And then he getting all mad at the haters. What the fuck do you give a fuck about a hater for? You going into the biggest fight of your life, defending your title for the third time and getting a seven figure payday doing it. What the fuck are you worried about a hater for? He was cracking under pressure. And the only thing that he did in that fight with Canelo was show that he can take some punches. He showed that he could take some punishment. That's what he did. But, you know, he also went down from headshots and he also went down from body shots. I mean, he just bullied you, bruised you, beat you up all the way around. Take your ass back over to the fucking UK. Go fight some bums. You know, you might be able to get that British title back. They say you and all your brothers then got the British title. It looked like all of you motherfuckers some cherry picks. Ain't Paul Smith your motherfucking brother? You see what Andre Ward did to that fool when he, when he came back after the dude missed weight and then he, he got his ass kicked and he's bleeding out of his face. I'm pretty sure he was bleeding. Andre Ward busted that motherfucker up. I believe it was a stoppage in that fight. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Andre Ward stopped your brother and then Canelo stopped you. Callum Smith is being touted as, you know, a good fighter. Well, who knows? He might end up a cherry pick like all the rest of these fucks. Y'all motherfuckers need to stay over there in the United Kingdom and uh, play hopscotch and jump rope, you know what I'm saying, and tickle each other to death with some feathers. Because y'all come over here, y'all ain't on our level, man. Y'all motherfuckers, man. Can't fuck with us, man. You coming into the fight undefeated, and you're an undefeated champion. You're doing all this talking. I'm going to win this fight. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to spoil the Triple G fight. So, you know, you better not look past me because I'm going to take it. Yeah. You hope you was wishing that he missed that weight, wasn't you? So you can just say, I don't even want to fight this guy. The money isn't worth it. He's looking too big, too strong. I bet they was watching like training videos from that motherfucking shit. Like, ah, oh, shit. We about to fight this big, strong motherfucker. Y'all know. Y'all know what happened at Canelo's last fight, right? <laughs> that ain't the first time he put a motherfucker to sleep either, man. It's, Canelo's catching bodies out here, man. And it don't matter. It don't matter if he hits you in, a, in the head. It don't matter if he hits you in the body. Either up top or down below, he can knock you out. Either way it go. You want to block your face? Hey, I'll fuck your body up. You want to you wanna block your body? Hey, shit, I'll knock you the fuck out with a headshot. That's how it goes down out here. You know what I'm saying? You came over here to America for the first time to have a fight. But it didn't work out too well for you, buddy. But, you know, at least you got your pride. You should have some pride. You know, you did fight your heart out. And for that, you should get a little bit of credit. But, you know, you did get your ass whooped on that motherfucking TV. You know what I'm saying? I'm sitting there looking at this fight like, damn. You know what I'm saying? It, it was, like, pretty entertaining watching Canelo land all of those heavy shots and seeing how he was setting them up. Up until the point where you was turning into a punching bag and it was like, okay, this guy don't have a chance at winning this fight. You, you can take these punches, but you know, if, if you you sitting here getting hit with all of these heavy shots, and then now you're getting dropped and just you know, he's just doing whatever the fuck he wants with you. Then it was like, Oh, poor guy, look at him. You know, he's trying. Look at him, he's he's trying. But, you know, at the end of the day, man, Canelo's too good for you, man. You know, you wanted that fight. You got that fight. I hope you got what you was looking for. You know, uh, you're probably in the dressing room right now. Um, you just received a check from Golden Boy Promotions with a seven-figure amount of money. So take that check to the hospital with you. When you get those stitches, 
um, in your face over your eye because you, you got pretty fucked up. It looked like it was cut. You was cut and more than one shot. And those cuts came from punches. Yeah, he really fucked you up. Yeah, he could have broke one of your ribs too. Might have did some damage to your liver, man. You know, I'd about rather get punched in the face than get punched in my body where all of my organs at and shit. It's like, damn, man. <laughs> like the first one looked painful. You know, like the delay reaction and shit. Just like pause and then. Aah! And then the second one, man, you shit. You you just like fucking caved. I mean, you just rolled on the ground, man. You was really hurt, like crumbled, man. It, that's fucked up, bro. You know. <laughs> but you know, salute to you for taking that fight and taking all that fucking punishment. Damn. You know. That shit was crazy, man. Looking back at it, man. It's, it's all of them fucking hard-ass shots. He was landing on this motherfucker. He was just taking them bitches, man. I'm like, damn. He got a hell of a fucking chin. He ain't gonna go. He ain't gonna go. This shit might go to the, the decision. It might go 12 rounds. But, you know, not getting hit that hard that many times. No, no, no. I was just saying, like, that's a matter of time. It's just a matter of time before he go. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no fucking way. You know what I'm saying? It ain't no way that you can get hit in your head that many times that hard and, and survive that's a lot of fucking trauma to your head but then he started going to the body you want to hold your hands up all high then he started fucking your body up then you got knocked out with body shots which the body shots probably would have set up the ko for you know a, a head shot but you you want to block the head they were saying you seem like you was more worried about the uppercut than you was the body shots but hey Either way it go, you was going to get knocked out. I mean, Liam Smith seemed, he was thinking. He was trying to adjust. He just wasn't able to because he was fighting a much better fighter. But, you know, he was going to get knocked out either way it go because, you know, Liam Smith is a good fighter. He is, you know, but everything that he does good, Canelo does better. And I knew that going into this fight, and it clearly showed in the fight. So congratulations to Canelo. We definitely don't know what this guy is going to do. You know, um, he's still the Linnell middleweight champion of the world. He was in talks to fight Billy Joe Saunders. We don't know if that fight is going to happen or not. Because Billy Joe act like he don't want to fight nobody. I think he just want to sell his belt to the highest bidder. That's what it looked like. You know, offer it to Triple G. You know, he's calling out Triple G now. Now, I don't, he ain't even really talking about Canelo. I don't, I don't understand. That's the fight. You know, Canelo can pay you more than... Triple G can pay you. But, you know, I don't know, man. Yeah, I don't know if he's going to stay at 154. I don't know if he's going to go to 160. You know, one minute they saying that they, they're they thinking about fighting Billy Joe Saunders and trying to capture that title at 160. And then the next minute, Canelo saying, hey, I'm staying at 154. Canelo struggled to make 154. He had to strip butt booty naked to make that weight. You know, but that was his first time making 154 in, like, uh, five fights. He had five fights at 155. And, um, you know, so he hasn't had to make 154 in quite a while. But, you know, um, he made the weight. He's a champion now. Who knows? He just might make the weight a lot easier next time. But congratulations to Canelo for pulling off the victory. Very, very dominant and impressive performance by Canelo. And I'm looking forward to seeing what he does next. I'm Travis Gotti. Thank you for tuning in to Travis Gotti Boxing. Subscribe. All of the lights.